Hello, my name is Scott, and we're going to show you how easy it is to program your new M6001 thermostat. In a few simple steps, you'll have control over the comfort and efficiency of the environment of your home. Before starting, please consult the warning and safety precautions listed in your manual. This video will not be demonstrating how to install the thermostat, as the thermostat connects to high voltage wiring and should be connected by a professional electrician in accordance to your local wiring codes. By default on the M6001, you'll see two temperatures and a time. The top temperature is the actual temperature of the room. Below you'll find a power output level, and beside you'll see flames flashing when the heater is active. Beneath this you'll see the temperature you've chosen for the room, and beside you'll see program period. At the bottom, by default, there'll be a clock displaying the actual time, with two small letters above representing the day of the week. Below the screen there's a row of buttons labeled Usage Time, Set, Hold, and Prog. The function of these buttons will be explained as we go along. Below them are two buttons with arrows marked Up and Down respectively. These buttons can change the set temperature at any time. Beneath the faceplate, there is another tiny button. Pressing this button with the tip of a pencil will cause the thermostat to reboot and reset the clock to 9 a.m. Monday morning. Something that we recommend before programming your thermostat is doing a full reset of the thermostat back to the factory default settings. This can be done by pressing in the hold button, then pressing in the reset button, releasing the reset button, and then the hold button. Our next step is to customize the optional settings of the thermostat for your personal need. By holding in the set button, you will access the optional settings. The first to appear is the 12 hour or 24 hour clock option. 12 HR flashes on the screen. Pressing the up or down button will switch between the 12 or 24 hour clock display. Pressing set again will advance you to the next option. The next option is the cycle rate. The default cycle rate appears as CR1, and this is a good setting for electric baseboard heater. This rate allows the thermostat to send pulses of electricity to the baseboard to maintain a constant and efficient temperature in your home environment. When the thermostat is using heat cycling, you will notice the power output level will change. This represents how much energy is being used during these pulsing periods. The other settings for cycle rate are CR0, which turns off heat cycling. The thermostat will wait for the temperature of the room to drop a half a degree Celsius or a full degree Fahrenheit before turning on the heat. We recommend this for fan assisted heaters. CR2 is a longer heating cycle than CR1. The thermostat will keep on the heat for short spans suitable for convectors and radiant sealing devices, but longer than the pulses used for baseboard heaters. Pressing set again advances to the next option, which appears as RE. This is the pre comfort recovery option. When it is set to 1, it will be on and the thermostat will turn on heating in advance of a program change to get a head start on reaching a warmer temperature. Turning the option to 0 turns off pre-comfort recovery and the thermostat will wait until the next program before heating. Pressing set again will cause the temperature at the top of the screen to flash. This option allows you to select between Celsius or Fahrenheit as the temperature measurement you wish to use. You can use the arrow keys to select which measurement. Changing the measurement will cause all the programs on your thermostat to reset. Next we'll be setting the clock. This can be done from the default screen by pressing and releasing the set button. This will cause the time to flash. Pressing the up or down arrow buttons will allow you to change the time. Holding them in will allow the time to go by even faster. Press the set button again to change the day of the week. This can also be done using the arrow buttons. Pressing set again locks in the selected time. Now we will be programming the thermostat. These models are designed to automatically change their temperature four times a day. These program periods are designated as P1, P2, P3, and P4. The idea is that 
Program 1 sets the temperature to a comfortable setting before you wake up. Program 2 conserves energy while you're at work. Program 3 returns the temperature to a comfortable setting when you return home. And Program 4 conserves energy while you sleep. Remember, lower temperatures save you energy and therefore money when you're heating. The M6001 has a set of four programs from Monday to Friday and another set of four programs for Saturday and Sunday. To make things easier, we recommend to plan the whole thing out on a piece of paper, keeping track of the times and temperatures for each program period. Remember, you will need one schedule for the weekdays and another schedule for the weekends. Please respect the 24-hour period of the day and have the program start at different times in order of the program numbers. Program 4 has to begin before midnight. To begin entering the program to the thermostat, press PROG once. The symbol for Program 1 will appear on screen, as well as all the letters for the days of the week. To adjust the temperature of Program 1, you can now press the arrow buttons. To switch to adjusting the time, press the Usage Time button. The time will now flash. This can now be adjusted also by pressing the arrow buttons. To switch between the temperature and time, press the Usage button. Whichever you're about to switch will be flashing on screen. To advance to Program 2, press the PROG button. P2 will now appear on screen, as well as all the days of the week. You can adjust the temperature and time the same way you did for Program 1, switching between the time and temperature by pressing the Usage Time button. To advance to Program 3, press the PROG button again. Once the time and temperatures are set, you can press the PROG button again to advance to Program 4. After Program 4 is set, you can press the PROG button again to advance to Program 1 for the weekend. Here you can adjust using the arrow buttons again, again switching between the time and temperature pressing the Usage Time button. Pressing PROG again will advance you through Program 2, 3, and to 4 for the weekend. After Program 4 for the weekend, pressing PROG again will return you to the main screen. Now that the programs are set, the thermostat will adjust the temperatures automatically, but you can still adjust the temperatures manually by pressing the up or down arrow buttons. Adjusting the temperature manually will cause the program period to disappear from the screen and the word override will appear in its place. The new temperature will stay in effect until the next program period. If you don't want the thermostat to adjust the temperature automatically, you can push the hold button to put it into a manual mode. The word hold now appears on screen instead of the word override or the program periods. Whatever temperature is set will now be locked in until you change it yourself or the hold button is pressed again, returning you to the program. Next we'll talk about the usage time button. On the main screen, pressing the usage time button once will bring up the number of hours and minutes the thermostat has heated today. Pressing usage again will show you how many hours and minutes the thermostat has heated since midnight on Sunday. Next we will talk about setting the high limit function. This will prevent anyone from raising the temperature higher than the temperature that you select. First, set your temperature to your desired limit. Next, press the usage time and the set buttons for 3 seconds. A lock symbol will now appear on screen. Now we can use the down arrow button to reduce the temperature, but the up arrow button will only bring the temperature as high as our limit, which here is set to 24. Please note, this high limit function will affect the programs as well. If you'd previously set them to a higher temperature, they will be reduced to the new high limit. To keep this function useful, we've made it difficult to turn off. First, you'll have to remove the faceplate to access the reset button. Now, we'll need to press the reset button using the tip of a pen or a pencil. This will cause a partial reset, turning the clock back to 9 a.m. Monday, and causing the lock symbol to flash. By pressing the usage time and set buttons for 3 seconds, the lock symbol will disappear and the high limit function will be turned off. Before we go, we wish to inform you that this thermostat is equipped with a memory backup in case of power outage. The clock will be kept running on reserve power for 48 hours on a full charge. All the programs and optional settings are automatically saved and 
and will be reloaded once the power is restored. We hope you found this video helpful and we thank you for purchasing a Canarm thermostat.